Good morning everyone and uh, welcome to the channel all the new subscribers and uh, thank you for just being here. So today guys I'm at the towers. Today the towers will get the full mixture of uh, nutrients added to the, uh, to the tank. So I'm filling the tank up here. Um, let me turn the water back on. And this tank holds approximately 38 gallons. I don't fill it all the way, so we're going to use 35 gallon measurement against that. So what we're using is Master Blend. So I buy these little kits. And so I get Master Blend uh, 41838 calcium nitrate and magnesium and uh, this tells me my measurements per five gallons so it's two teaspoons for uh, uh, five gallons of uh, for um, uh, how come I just lost the name on here uh, master blend and then two teaspoons of uh, per five gallons of uh, calcium nitrate and then the uh, uh, sulfate uh, one teaspoon per five gallons uh, it's important to do the salt, Epsom salt, uh, and the master blend together and do the calcium nitrate separately. Uh, it tends to uh, uh, clump together and have some issues when you do them all together. So I'm going to do my uh, master blend and the Epsom salt first, and then I'll add the calcium nitrate after that. I think I said that right. So anyway, once I get this tank full, I'm going to do my blend and so what I do is I mix them in that little jug and uh, get them all diluted before I put them in the tank. So let's get that done. So for the first one we're going to do the uh, master blend uh, and the Epsom salt together into this jug. Just get them all mixed up and then add them to the tank. Alright guys, so I got all the nutrients put into the tank, stirred it up really good, and I'm going to go ahead and run these uh, towers for about 5-10 minutes. And uh, even the ones that are empty right now, it would be nice to have the nutrients into the uh, medium. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, uh, after we do this, we'll probably uh, look at putting nutrients in the tank for the Dutch bucket systems. I also planted some potatoes today um, and I'm using bags and I put those in the greenhouse and today we're going to put radishes and carrots uh, in the planter bo um, uh, basins of these uh, towers so yeah busy day so yeah very cool Sherry is actually uh, unloaded the dehydrator which we did eggs and she's uh, turning them into powder and sealing them and putting them into our preps. So, uh, uh, yeah, she's busy and I'm busy. And we're, uh, it's a gorgeous day today. So, I got a shirt, sleeve shirt, and I'm feeling good and real light breeze. So, you might hear that on the camera, but it's all good. We got the pumps on. You can see the water coming through everything. And uh, it's really cool to know that all these strawberries, the ones we've planted so far, even the uh, ones that are empty are all going to have nice nutrients in them and uh, hopefully they'll start getting uh, getting excited to grow for us. So very cool. So uh, I brought some of my nutrients in from uh, the strawberry tank and I'm going to add them here to my potatoes or russet potatoes and uh, to give them a nice, uh, nice start. And uh, actually this is the very first thing we put into the greenhouse. Well, another project we got going on here today is we have a guest coming next week. It's Sherry's sister. 
and I've got to get the fifth wheel operational. And so it's been winterized. So we're going to de-winterize the RV today. So the very first thing I did was... Oh, I'm going to see a, a lizard. <laughs> there he is. Go lizard! <laughs> anyway, it's going to be that time of year. I added about a cup and a half of Clorox to the water tank. And uh, uh, this is kind of old Clorox, so we added more normal. And uh, where'd my lizard go? <laughs> Bummer. Anyway, uh, so we're going to add that to the tank, fill up the tank, run the water, and get some uh, bleach through the system to uh, sanitize the system real good. And also it'll give us a chance to wash out the uh, antifreeze we put in all the water lines. Um, so anyway, so we got that going on. I got to open up the slides and uh, but most of all we got to get this water treated. So we got to turn on the water, get out there and fill the tank, uh, which I already put the bleach in and uh, go from there. So we're going to let that run, fill up the tank. It doesn't take too long. Uh, it's about a 50 gallon tank. Once it's all filled up, then I'll start running the water uh, in the system. So while that's filling, we need to open up the slides. So let's get that done. So this fifth wheel has four slides. It's a 3625 Montana, 2013. We love this thing, but we haven't traveled much. But it's so nice for guests. And I just got to hit the button right here and... Uh, We'll begin to turn this into a house. As you can see, this becomes a very roomy RV, a uh, nice big living room, um, rear entertainment system here, um, and nice little kitchen, and king size bed, and shower, and all that good stuff. We've loved this thing. We've lived in this full time before, and it was very comfortable. The Montanas, by the way, have a very, very nice winterizing system. Basically, um, when you winterize, it'll bypass the, the hot water tank, take the water out of it when you drain it. Um, so what we're doing is turning on all the systems so that everything works again, and I can get a little bleach into the system and uh, st um, sterilize all the pipes. So uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. And my tank should be full pretty soon down there. And uh, we'll get her going. The other thing that's important since it's been sitting around a little bit, is make sure that I didn't have like a squirrel or something uh, make a home out of this place. So we'll go check, make sure I don't have any debris in any of the hot water systems. Uh, check inside the refrigerator here and uh, open it up and just make sure I don't have any uh, nests or anything like that in here. And everything looks nice and clean. No remnants of anything. It looks like it dropped down. I might have an upset spider in a minute. But so be it. Uh, but yeah, just gotta be careful. My father once had an old trailer that a squirrel <laughs> made a nest right above the uh, stove vent, and uh, he was lucky he caught it because that could have caused a problem. All right, so I got the water tank all filled up, checked all my compartments, make sure I didn't have any unexpected guests, <coughs> opened up the valve for the uh, hot water heater to work. She's ready to rock and roll. Just got to start running some water. You can kind of see some of the pink water coming out of the lines here. That means I'm starting to flush it out. Pretty soon I'll, I'll start smelling uh, bleach. But uh, it's going to take a while to pressurize the RV because i got to fill up a 13 gallon hot water heater. The other thing that's kind of important, I'm in the bathroom of the shower, is uh, uh, to add some uh, RV toilet treatment to the tank and uh, run some water into it. So I actually dumped it in there already. 
just adding a little more water just to uh, kind of loosen things up in there and <laughs> make sure it doesn't smell bad so uh, we do have a dump station on our property and uh, when we stayed in this a lot of times we use a dump tank but uh, yeah gotta gotta keep that stuff up that's a part of having an RV alrighty so I got the water flushed through uh, next thing I'll do is I actually will uh, spray the inside of the RV for critters which we've had no problems I uh, did get a mouse get in there this winter I think I caught him but we also had to kind of clean up after that but uh, other than that she's in great shape so uh, uh, yeah it won't take long Sherry and I will kind of get in here and detail it and uh, have it all ready for guests so uh, I never tell you I have a great wife well, while I was doing that with the RV, she's in the greenhouse leveling bricks, which is not fun. So, uh, just trying to get it done before it gets too hot. And we'll have the second tank ready to go. Sounds like war drums in here. Leveling this ground is hard, isn't it? Especially when it's like 80 degrees already. No, it's like almost 100 in here. You're kidding. Wow. So, yeah, it's about 98 degrees in here. Doesn't make it easy to do work in here. Quick status on the uh, mini floating raft I got here. If you look really close, I've already got starters coming up. Very exciting. And uh, won't be too long. I'll have these things will grow really fast in the nutrients. And all of our, uh, these are flowers, by the way. Tomatoes are doing good. More flowers, more tomatoes. Those are uh, cucumbers. And I got more baby tomatoes over here. And I've got onions up there, which are actually doing pretty good. Um, I don't know if I'm going to leave them inside or not, but we're going to plant some seeds. We're going to do some radishes and carrots. All right, guys, so I threw a couple of seeds of my uh, carrots in the first two towers right here. Uh, I just kind of spread them out and just lightly covered them and uh, see how they do. And uh, now I'm going to do some radishes in the other three. And uh, I'm going to be a little bit more selective of where I put those seeds. Alright guys, so the last three towers I put radishes in. We'll see how it do. It might be a little early in the season for them to be successful. But uh, it's always worth trying. Right, next thing I got to do is I got to get my hose back from the RV. Connect it to the main hose that goes out to the garden area and water the onions. Okay, we've got the hose all wrapped up. Turning on the water. There's my lizard again. Hi, guy. <laughs> Trust me, it's not the only lizard I got in the garage. So sure we got our bricks leveled. She's kind of checking out her uh, tanks here. We're uh, not going to put the second layer on until we put the liner in the first one because we need room to put the trim on the outside. And then we'll raise the next one and put uh, do the opposite, put the trim on that side and bring it over this way. We'll show you how we do that. But, yeah, so we're going with two tanks only. That way we have lots of room up here. And uh, we can always add another one later. Guys, I just want to show you we got our, we doubled up six ply uh, tarp in here and we have attached the end of it so far and uh, we're just kind of jockeying kind of figure out how to whether we should just let the water do the work or what we need to do to get this lined up right but anyway that's the first one and we might have enough to do the second one with the same sheet so uh, we'll let you know adding our water in and uh, letting it push all the plastic to the edges and the corners before we cinch down the sides and uh, we've never done this before but that's what they recommend is to cinch down one side fill it with water then do your trimming after that because the water will pull uh, in the sides so we'll see if that works we're not completely confident in that but we'll see well this is the finished tank this is one of them we're going to work on the second one in a minute we will be adding blocks underneath to make it higher, but uh, we're just doing the leveling. But this is a finished tank. We still got a little trim to put on here. But uh, that's the first one. 
pretty exciting. Alrighty guys, we're going to wrap this day up. I want to thank you very much for watching and all of our new subscribers. Sherry's making a little makeshift uh, Velcro thing to hold down our old flap until we get a regular window put in here thing. Tomorrow we're going to put the new aerators in here. And uh, we got a, strawberries coming. We got a lot of things going on. But we got our, uh, it's getting later in the day. It's getting time to feed our, pup, feed our puppies. And uh, it's also time for us to get the eggs and feed our chickens. So, uh, and the wind's picking up. But it's been a beautiful day. We're very, very fortunate to have a nice sunny day. But in Central Oregon, during the uh, af late afternoon, the wind usually starts picking up. So it's a good time to put the tools away, kick back, and uh, be kind of happy of all the things we have achieved today. These, these are fantastic. I am so happy. But we got to get aerators in these, and then we got to cut the uh, styrofoam, which I think we have already, for the top, the floating uh, rafts. And we got to drill the holes for the floating rafts. So yeah, lots of things going on, and uh, contemplating maybe planting some sugar peas. Uh, they seem to be able to handle colder temperatures, so we might do that, and uh, I might put them in here. And I got to plant more potatoes. So lots of things going on. Stick with us and uh, make sure you subscribe so you can catch all of our stories and uh, see how our adventure goes as we try to uh, make this greenhouse really produce some, uh, some food for us this year. So thanks for watching, guys. Be safe. Talk to you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.